Well, hello there again. I think that I've been away from you for approximately one and a half seconds. Hello. <laughs> jazz hands, jazz hands. We're gonna have to get to you. We're gonna have to um, uh, get used to that. Oh man. You know what that says? I kissed it for a reason. The best moments in my life are moments when I realize that I need God. Really, because that makes me reach out. <sighs> it was so funny that people think I'm joking about that shit. I guess that's how far removed everybody is from all that. Like, people can't believe that I have, like, a Bible and I read it. I mean, I'm sure, like, any book, they'd be shocked. They're like, oh my god, what's that? Uh, but, uh, it seems like people are especially shocked that anybody still reads the Bible. Uh. <clears throat> like, this guy that I met the other night, I guess he was trying to be cool or something, and he was like, you know... I use Bible. I use the Bible to like prop up my couch or some shit. I guess like his couch is fucked up, so he uses his like, you know, like when you put like a book under a a table that's like lopsided or some shit. Like that's what he's talking about. So I guess it's like, oh, it's funny. It's funny. I mean, whatever. I guess, yeah, it works, right? Well, it would work a lot better if you read the Bible and then it would be the foundation that would uh, uh, keep you upright, you know? I'm just, I'm just telling you to think outside the box here. But some people reject it because of all the stuff that they've heard about it or the stuff that they've, um, they choose to focus on, you know? But I don't, I don't do that. I just figure out what I believe about something. Now that do, that doesn't mean that I don't get influenced by other people, but that influence doesn't last very long. I usually change my mind, you know? I figure out how I feel. And that's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do. I fucked it up, so I'm just like, just go with it. That's what you gotta do. <laughs> that's what you gotta do. drained other times so strange that emptiness feels so all-consuming and the reason that I feel so empty is because I have all these things but I guess they're not really that real to me but that's why my creative life is so very prospering I like playing so like that. It's kind of fun like to sort of like drag your voice out. See, there's so many tricks you can do with your voice that I don't think people understand. Like, dude, you can be creative. Like, I really want to do musical comedy. Though. I don't really like regular ass comedy. That's what I'm realizing. I mean, like, this is the thing. This is the thing I'm good at. Why not keep doing it? But it's like, dude, I'm just... I just imagine myself just doing regular ass stand-up, though. So that's why... 
I don't know. It's annoying. I just wish I had more time. If I had more time, I could do it all. You know? Play baseball up there, too. Oh, fuck. I fucked it up. No, you're... You need this to sit. Just... You know what I mean. You don't even have a lot of people to lose, you stupid, fucking, grandiose, narcissistic twat. <laughs> That's cool though, that sounds interesting. CBD lotion. It's upstairs though. I don't feel like going up there. Mm. I'm so glad I brought uh, brought this out. Started drinking it. <laughs> you could totally sell coke that way, dude. I'm so glad that I'm drinking this. <laughs> you know. That's all you need to say to sell some. I'm so glad <laughs> that this is here. Thank you, Coca-Cola. <laughs> you were doing before you got distracted it must have been the a d d d d d for sure i'm pretty sure that my neighbors would have complained by now but maybe i'm wrong Maybe they're just white and they don't know how black 
black people wouldn't have a problem telling me straight to my face what they think. Bitch, shut the fuck up! <laughs> Sorry, I got a lot of black people living in my head. I have a lot of people in general living in my head, but I guess the most distinctive ones are African American. Or maybe just straight up African. Who knows? Fluctuate. Sometimes it's different than it was the day before. And other times it's most of the people that I talk to, they're always there, they're always there. Fucked it up. No, you didn't. Wait, you had this other one you liked too. Okay, I'm gonna play for like 10 more minutes, then I'm gonna go upstairs because I think that I've shot enough videos for one day for one day i think i shot enough videos but lord knows that i won't ever say what i really want to say oh, there always be more you know that's why comedy is so fucking disheartening because it's just like you always think like even though i did really well it's like well fuck now i'm depleted again so I understand. It's like an addiction for them. That's why most comics that I talk to, they do it like all the time. But it's like, I validate myself, babe. And I can do that shit anywhere. And God's right there and he sees all this shit, you know? So he's laughing. someone that needed help more than you and you distracted him from that help so you're a bad person you know it's true <laughs> sometimes sometimes but then again i can choose to be better i can choose to be kinder i can choose to say things in a way that doesn't scare people away but then again those that are determined to be scared to be whatever negative emotion they're you know they're gonna be too loud still. trying to sing. <laughs> you ever listen to a singer and you're just like, were they even trying or what? Were they trying? Were they trying? What were they doing? What were they attempting? So 
So I read something that Taylor Swift said recently and I almost fucking choked. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat it. But here, uh, I think that her career is about to go up in smoke. <laughs> well, because she's so very woke. Woke, 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 woke. You could be, what did I say earlier? It was like, you could be woke, but you can't be woke. <laughs> there's a difference, okay? There's woke, and then there's woke. <laughs> it's all stupid. I mean, what I'm saying is, you know, there's people that are actually like awake to like what's really going on. And then there's people that, that use like this, this culture, this, this vernacular, that all the PC shit, you know. They all making fun of it, but like, let me tell you something. Anybody that says I'm woke, those people are like so not woke. Uh, yeah, you agree, don't you? Yeah, fuck these people, right? They're so stupid. Uh huh. Yeah, that's right. She started thinking about SJWs and you, you fucking freaked her out. She ran away. So, it's your fault. I call them diff different acronym. <laughs> you guys know. I know that you know. You just, just keep doing it. Keep doing it because then you can add to it. You can always add to it. Okay. How much time we got? Okay. I'll try to do this in three minutes. Let's go. H W J P C P P P C A. What's that? What did you say? Don't worry, I'll repeat it. H W J P C P P C A. That's hokey wokey jokey. P C police and pandering pansy candy ass. Hokey wokey jokey. P C police and pandering pansy candy ass. No, this too. somewhere perhaps straight to hell where it was born <laughs> the hwj pc p p p p c a they're ruining everything that we know and love or even things that we don't know and love even things that we never thought in our right mind we'd ever support or we'd ever stand behind or we'd ever defend i find myself defending chris hardwick really <sighs> motherfucker from singled out do you guys remember that shit does he still have that show on comedy central oh what points what's that show called i don't remember I don't remember the name of it. I hate it though. I fucking hate it because it's, it's all about this culture. It's all about fucking Twitter and shit like that. I mean, it's, it's somewhat entertaining, but it's still terrible because it's about, you know, pop culture and pop culture is terrible, right? See, there are a lot of people that go along with the culture. And I have quite a few words for ya. Especially people that claim that they hate it. I don't think that you really do, or else you'd act like you hate it. You wouldn't go along with it all because you say, you say, you say, you say, you, say, you have to. See, I'm not always perfect, you guys. I'm not Jesus. There's only one Jesus. It's not me. You know you're gonna go along. You know you're gonna go on a lot longer. You know that. Okay. Maybe I'll stop. <laughs> we'll stop at 25 minutes. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Whatever. I'm tired though, man. I only had like four hours of sleep. Just masturbating too much, I guess. It's too much, it's too much, it's too much when most of the time you're out of touch, get it? <laughs> no, really, I don't 
touch myself that much. Not as much as I suggest, but maybe that's why whenever I do, I touch myself too much. <laughs> it's cause like, I'm an all or nothing person. That's why. keyboard than I was when I started. But that's because I kept at it, I kept at it, and I got confident, and it made me better. But I'm still not perfect, at least not yet. They say practice makes perfect, but I don't really agree with it, because I think that you still fuck up. And I'm sure that even if the audience doesn't notice, you notice, especially if you have self-awareness like I do, like I do, you definitely notice and it's annoying and it's obnoxious because you can't enjoy anything, anywhere, anytime with anyone. <sighs> but I'm not going to play the victim because there are better things that I could do. Don't you love that? Don't you love that? That's a nice way to end it there. <laughs> the better thing is I could do to play the victim. Cheers to not playing the victim. Cheers! Yeah, killed that. Killed that Coca-Cola product. <laughs> I like that other one though. That was a good one. That good black key. I really like that one. That one right there. It's good. It's beautiful. I like playing alone in my room. I like playing alone in my kitchen. I like playing alone in my bathroom. In any bathroom. Really? I like playing alone, but I'm not really alone when I'm with Fiona. That's my car. I'm not really alone ever because I got God watching over me. All the time. Even if I don't realize it. But I feel like most of the time I'm just playing for him, you know? Even though I know that people would be interested in this, it just seems like... I don't know what the market is for it. And I'm not in it to make money. I'm not in it to win it. I'm not in it to uh, be successful or whatnot. I'm not in it because I want fame and shit. Fame and a title, and for people to go, ooh, ah, she's so talented, but then again, I know that. It would be nice if everybody was jealous of my immeasurable talent. That would be nice, that would be nice, for reasons that I'm sure Morrissey could understand. I'm sure that he would like be offended that I'm comparing myself to him. <laughs> I love you, Marcy. Every word that you ever wrote, I feel like you wrote to me. And that's how art's supposed to be. I speak to you, hopefully you speak to me. You speak to me, hopefully I speak to you in some way, some way, some way, some way, some way. Like, there have to be some kind of way.
That's why I was so bummed out that LCD Sound System didn't want to talk to me. Because I figured they would totally be done with what I'm doing since it's so DIY. But, you know. <sighs> They're going along with that PC shit though, man. No matter what they like to pretend. They totally are. I'm pretty sure they're communists too, so that's not good. Please, please, let's go to bed. We need to go to bed. We don't need to be at work, though, until 6 o'clock tomorrow. Because uh, the GM did actually change the schedule like we requested. So, yay! But, who knows? I might wake up and masturbate and I'll be able to go back to sleep and then just keep masturbating because that's what seems to be happening lately. I swear it's because of the weed. Because last time you felt like you couldn't go to work... And you were just touching yourself. It was. It was stony time. You know it was stony time. <laughs> what is it not stony time? <laughs> hey. Seeing that word? Fiona's not in here. <laughs> I missed my car. <laughs> She's out there. You kissed her good night. I always feel like she feels rejected when I leave her out there. Like, I feel like she's mad at me. She's like, what happened? I'm supposed to be in the garage. Why am I outside? You know, because I really think that, like, everything has feelings. It's good to care about feelings, just not to the extent that you, like allow yourself to be blamed for other people's feelings, you know? It's good to not to, you know, try to hurt people's feelings. Thing is, I get, I get on to people because, like, I just feel like you can't. A lot of this stuff, it's just, basically we're conditioning people to just be so weak, you know? And not, like, develop a backbone, not get thicker skin, not like learn to take a joke, not learn to get over themselves, not take themselves so fucking seriously. I get it. I'm a serious person myself, but I have to acknowledge the fact that sometimes people don't mean it the way that I want to think that they mean it, you know? And even if they did, so fucking what? I mean, I have to deal with it all the time because of my mental illness. Like, would you like act crazy all the time and like people, and by act crazy, I mean just act weird, just be awkward, be different. Don't go along with the social norms. You'll get made fun of all the time. Hey, baby. Hello. The click went out a writer. A little bit. A little more masculine than her. She's got a real feminine face. I love when on a writer. What happened to her? I think the last time she was in anything was like Black Swan, and it was like a very disturbing role. She was like stabbing herself in the face with scissors or something. I think, oh God, that movie's rough. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's a good movie though. It's about borderline personality. And yeah, that's another really, really spot on depiction of it. Natalie Portman's character. Just like her paranoia and shit and her like delusions. Like it's it's very I think I think it's very like similar to Mulholland Drive. But I think Mulholland Drive is like way more intricate. They're still both like really depressing movies though. But I would much rather watch Mulholland Drive like any day just because it's like just interesting. If you watch like a Darren Aronofsky movie that's like it just like takes years off your life. You know, <laughs> like Requiem for a Dream, it's like once every five years. I'm not going to 
subject myself to that shit more than I have to. You know, it is very well made though. And it's a very accurate depiction of drug addiction. Like, I just love his techniques. I feel like I'm that kind of director. If I ever directed a movie, I feel like I would have really, like, interesting angles and shit. But, I don't know. I don't want to think too hard on it. I feel like, artistically, like, I could do a lot. But it's just so hard for me to focus on stuff. And to... It's not just, like, oh, it's hard for me to focus. Because I'm sure, like, oh, if I could focus, I would get bored. You know? So... I, I don't think that I'd be satisfied with whatever I created whenever I focused. So that's why I think it's just better, you know, do what I've been doing. Trust my fucking instincts. That's what I've been doing, and it seems to be working because I'm not famous, and I don't want to be. So booyah. <laughs> do you like my dolly? Best president ever. That's not Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald compares himself to Abe. Like, really, Ducky? Really? See, look at it from the side. Totally. You can see it, right? You can see it just a little bit? Yep. See, all you gotta do is change your perspective. That's how cool art is. You just change your perspective. That's what I'm realizing like with my voice and with the keyboards, with sound in general. It's just like if you just change like one little thing, I mean, it, it changes everything. And so like that's what, that's why the Democrats keep fucking with the language. Because they can fuck with everybody's like sense of reality. So... I'm just going to come up with my own shit, you know, because I'm just so sick of fucking politics. So I call my shit Polish Sticks. Because it's way funnier and way better than the stupid ass political system we have. Every system we have is retarded anyway. It doesn't work only for like a select few people that, you know, have money and title or they just happen to luck out that day, you know, because somebody felt like being nice. But, yeah, Dolly's awesome. <laughs> that was the end of that. Dolly's awesome, Abraham Lincoln's awesome, Democratic Party sucks, and fuck all the systems in general. Right? Good night, everybody. <laughs>